I have been getting many requests on how to prepare for arithmetic progression chapter. So in this video, I am going to uh, give you a strategy on how to prepare for arithmetic uh, progression chapter because this chapter being newly added to the syllabus, so many of the children do not have any precedence of previous year questions, so they do not know how to prepare. But let's uh, uh, look at how to prepare for this chapter. So what we have done is. Uh, I have uploaded in my website uh, the uh, questions from the arithmetic progression. All the questions I have uh, separated them or categorized them into worksheets like worksheet 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will provide a link for the website uh, address in the description below. So you can check and then you can uh, look at that uh, link and then that web page and also this video you watch uh, then you will easily understand. What we have done was we have separated all the problems into different concepts. So each worksheet deal with a different concepts. For example, worksheet one talks about whether a, if a given uh, 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 progression, so you should be able to identify whether it is a AP or not. So how can you identify that? We will identify that by looking at the common difference between two successive terms. If the common difference is same, then we say that uh, it is a arithmetic progression or not. Like that. Worksheet 2 deals with another concept, worksheet, worksheet 3 deals with a different concept. So that is what there in the web page. Now uh, what we are going to do is we will look at each and every concept now and then we will see if that question can be asked or not and then you will clearly know which uh, area is the most probable area from where you will definitely get a question from. Uh, but that, that does not mean that I am not asking you to neglect the rest of the problems, uh, but practice them. Uh, at least if you practice one or two, that will be good. But if you are a person definitely looking for 100 out of 100 in maths, then you should be thorough with all of them. But one topic which I tell you that and then that topic will be the most probable topic and from there you there is a lot of chance that you can get a question. So let us get into the uh, concept. Uh, first worksheet talks about to identify a given progression as a AP or not. So this uh, you can do by finding out the common difference. There are some two three problems that are given under this worksheet and you can solve one or two uh, depending upon your choice. But this uh, very unlikely this will come. I think it will not come because it is very easy question and uh, you, nobody will give three marks for that. Uh, then worksheet two talks about arithmetic progression can be constructed if A and D is given. For example, the questions of this nature are uh, A will be given to you and also the common difference is given to you and then you need to write down what is arithmetic progression corresponding to A and D. This type of question also very unlikely to come. Third one is a general term of an arithmetic progression is given by Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay, these type of questions are fine. They will be uh, they are important, but it does not mean that these type of questions are also uh, will come. For example, the kind of questions in this are if A is equal to this much and D is equal to this much, then find out the seventh term, find out the eighth term. No, this concept is very important, but we will not be using the questions will not be directly coming from this, but this concept will be indirectly used in other problems. So this is also from here also you will definitely not get a question from uh, this topic also. Then how many number of terms are there in AP? Very unlikely. Okay, 10 terms are there, 8 terms are there, very difficult. And then last term of an AP, that is also very difficult. These are all almost related to the same concept, but highly unlikely these questions will come as a direct question and you will have 3 marker for that. These, are, these will not come. Another worksheet 6 deals with rth term from the end. If an AP is given and then how will you find out rth term from the end? Here also very difficult. This question also will not come. Then worksheet 7, sum of first n terms of NAP. This is also a very important model, but from this model also you will not actually get. Uh, but this is an important model which the concept of this will be indirectly used in another models. So, some of uh, n terms will also be, uh, you will all, you will not be getting directly from this also. But worksheet 8 has solving for A and D. This is the most important model and then under this uh, model 
uh, we have given around 10 to 15 questions and from these questions you will definitely get a question my hunch is that this is the area where uh, icse will give you a question from because by looking at the past papers and by analyzing the pattern of the questions so this looks to be uh, a very probable model okay in this it will be given like seventh term of a series is this much eighth term of a series is this much then find out the ap or seventh term of a series is this much and the sum of n terms is this much then find out a uh, ap so these are the models that this is the model that is going to come so highly probable my hunch is that around more than 90 percent chances are there that from this model only you will get the question but that does not mean again that does not mean that other uh, models you should neglect no if you are looking for 100 percent you be sure that you know all of them okay this is also if you rate according to the difficulty level now this is a medium level difficulty all the questions till now we have discussed are like uh, uh, less level of difficulty or first level of difficulty because they are directly formula substitution most of the children will know that but that question will not be asked so this is like a second level of difficulty the mostly your problems in your uh, uh, icsc paper are majority are from the second level difficulty more than first level difficulty uh, this level of difficulty is subjective how to say that which is first level which is second level but these are medium level difficulty so medium level difficulty is what majority of your questions will be there from okay then worksheet 9 insert arithmetic means uh, i doubt this will come then properties of ap this also is very difficult most of the questions are will be like prove that if abc are in ap then prove that a plus 4 b plus 4 c plus 4 also in ap such kind of questions prove that kind of questions are also very unlikely to come worksheet 11 12 13 are the applications of ap so applications of ap for number system applications of ap in geometry and applications of ap in various other aspects so these three are also like interesting models but i doubt these questions will come just because the level of difficulty in these questions is three level three or higher unless the examiner wants to make the question paper very difficult definitely he will give level three questions but those questions will be like around 20 percent or 30 percent of the question paper only uh, will consist of uh, this kind of difficulty so since um, ap and gpr uh, the first time they are there in the syllabus it is very unlikely uh, that he may go to this difficulty level so very unlikely i doubt if it this kind of questions will come uh, but you can also after worksheet 8 if you want to focus so worksheet 11 is another in, important or interesting uh, set of problems this is where you might have your questions from and 12 ap and geometry this is very difficult uh, application mm, i am doubtful and even ap and word problems also okay i think this is better uh, compared to geometry so maybe you can focus on worksheet 11 and worksheet 13 and also 12 after solving from eight uh, worksheet 8 worksheet 8 the probability of a question coming from these models is 90 percent and from here i think 10 percent apart from this i doubt the uh, there would be any question from any other model so if you visit the web, uh, website and then uh, solve all these models uh, at least solve one one problem from each worksheet but worksheet 8 and worksheet uh, 11 and maybe even 13 and 12 try if you are looking for a hundred percent otherwise i know if you are thinking that no 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 we don't want to we don't have that much of time and i don't want to do all that so but try worksheet 8 completely and then 90 percent of the chance is that your question will come from these kind of models only so all the best and do well